Hey, snackers, are you ready to pass your DevNet certification exam? Join us on this special edition of DevNet Snack Minutes to get all the tips and tricks to pass that finish line. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a developer advocate with Cisco DevNet. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt Napoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to this special episode of DevNet Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10 minutes, all things DevNet, where we talk about APIs, coding, or just some interesting stuff that we think you might like to know. Today, we're going to talk to you about certification, and our guest is Ryan Rose. Ryan, welcome to the show. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hey, uh, Kareem, Matt, uh, thank you so much. I'm Ryan Rose. I'm the technical program manager here at DevNet, and I also talk a lot about DevNet certifications, so glad to be here. So you're here to kind of help us get people across the, the finish line for DevNet certifications. Can you, um, you know, give us some uh, tricks, tips about what people can do to, you know, they've been through this journey and now they're potentially ready to take the exam. They're kind of holding back for whatever reason. Uh, can you Can you help us? you know, get them across that line? Oh yeah, um, I'm happy to. Uh, and, and this is something <laughs> that we, we know there are hundreds of people that are out there that are all on different parts of their certification journey. And that exam part is that last big push. So we've actually been talking about this internally and externally to Cisco about how you can kind of get that last work done before you go to your exam. And the very first thing that we've been recommending to people is there's a lot of tools on developer.cisco.com slash certification that can help you get that last mile of that marathon done. Um, the first of which is we have a really good practice exam. It's uh, often we have a lot of people who say, you know, you know, what's something that I can do to like really, be, you know, get ready outside of taking the exam itself. Uh, the practice exam. Those questions are actually written by the exact same SMEs that wrote questions for the actual exam. So it's a great way, especially if you've never taken a Cisco exam before, it's a great way to kind of get a good feeling of um, kind of what that exam condition's like. But I, I know there are people out there that are thinking, well, wait a second, like, you know, what's something that I can do right now? What's something that maybe might even be like a, a no fee option? And we have that <laughs> too. Uh, so one thing that I always recommend that people do is review the exam blueprints. And you can find that by going to the same website, developer.cisco.com slash certification. We always get a lot of questions and you, I'm sure, I know you guys do too about what's on the exam. Like, could you give me a four instant question? We don't have any secrets. Um, uh, it's all in those blueprints. So each one of those domains has a really great line item that actually tells you exactly what is going to be a question on the exam. Um, so you can actually go through each one of those topics. And what I like to do is I read those topics and I say to myself, can I? This is a great way for me to kind of figure out, am I ready for that part of the exam? Um, and an example I will often use is something like, uh, we'll have a line item that says, describe software methodologies. And I'll say to myself, well, can I describe software methodologies? Um, the answer is yes. Uh, so I, I feel really good about that. But if the answer was no, I think I might have to find another job, but um, <laughs> if the answer was no, I'd have to probably, uh, that's an area where I can spend to kind of build up my skills. And there's actually some really great tools that are already connected to those blueprints to help you do that. And I know that Kareem, Matt, you guys actually developed most of the content that is connected to, for example, the DevNet Associate blueprint. I liked what we've done with the with the blueprint, blueprint, Ryan, where, you know, we've kind of aligned the topics, the exam topics to a learning lab. So when we're looking at answering that question, can I, and you don't know if you can or you can't, you can simply just go take this free learning lab, spend what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes max on a learning lab to kind of test out your skill. And at least you will have an idea of where you need to be before the exam, right? So it's it's really useful. Yeah, that's yeah. easily like the the thing that's a huge help. I'm sorry, go ahead. 
No, I was going to say, I know we have some paid material, but those learning labs are, are free all the time. And so they are a good gauge for where you're at for specific topics, obviously. Um, I was kind of sitting here curious. I know there's some trepidation. And before I took the exam, I was kind of, or I, I did DevNet uh, certified professional exam. I was a little nervous that I was going to fail. Yeah. Um, and, it, I, you know, I kind of was holding back and, and I was like, all right, I'm just going to do it. But I know that there's some people that might hold back. So, Ryan, can you give us... Um, some understanding of, of what you kind of tell people to get that last push over the line and, and help them out to say, hey, you know, it's okay, take the exam. Um, well, I'll tell you, like, we have a lot of people where it's like, oh, I really want to do this, but I'm really afraid of failing the exam. And the thing that I try to tell people is, is that it's totally okay to fail the exam, especially if this is uh, your first DevNet exam, if it's your first certification exam. Heck, you might be like um, a 15-year CCIE. It is totally okay if you fail this exam. It's meant to be hard. It's not like if you fail it, we find out, and then we kick you out of like DevNet Create or something like that. <laughs> like, you can still come to DevNet events. Like, um, what I try to tell people is, is that the exam is hard for a reason. And in fact, it's actually, it's totally okay if you schedule the exam and you fail because guess what? You've learned a lot through that. Um, you learn, uh, you learn about kind of what the exam is like, especially if you've never gone to like a Pearson testing center or like we also do online proctoring for the exam. So if you've never done anything like that, it, it really helps to have that experience. Um, moreover, you can take the exam again in, in five days. And there have been people inside of DevNet, outside of DevNet that have failed the exam and it's fine. It's totally okay. So I, I know that that's a, a bit of a hang up for people. So you can just put that out of your mind. Like we aren't keeping a secret list that's saying, oh yeah, that guy, he failed the exam. Um, uh, <laughs> so it's, it's totally okay. Um, I would say this, you know, utilize those blueprints Utilize that practice exam. Um, spend the time finding those trouble areas like Kareem, you were talking about. Use our sandboxes. They're totally free. If you're having a, a trouble learning about a specific API, use one of our sandboxes. You can actually build up those skills and put them into practice, which I think is critical for being successful in the exam. Being able to really have, not only have the awareness of the knowledge, but also being able to put it into practice. Um, and then the last thing I'll say is, is don't stress out. Like, you know, two days before the exam, stop studying. Go by your own method, but don't overwork your brain before you go and take that exam. Um, it's totally cool to just go in there relaxed. And if it works out great, we're going to celebrate. And if it doesn't, that's fine too. DevNet's got some tools that'll help you out. Folks, listen, listen to this guy. He knows what he's talking about. If you're, bottom line, if you're at, you know, the level of where you're ready to take the exam, just go take it. There's there's nothing holding you back. DevNet is here to help you. We have the resources for you. Um, Ryan, before we close out this uh, episode, we ask all of our guests this question, and uh, you probably have seen it. What is one thing, if you had to pick one superpower, what would that be and why? Um, so I am a really big fan of the Snack Minute. I hope everybody watches it. Um, I have been waiting to come on this show to share my superpower. Um, and I, I, I'm, I'm befuddled. Uh, I will say that it was easier to say, hey, should you take the DevNet exam? Yeah, go take it today. But for my superpower, I would say, I think, I think I, I'm going to go with Fly. That's, uh, that would be my superpower. I know that it's very basic, um, but uh, I think that would be pretty cool to be able to fly places. And you don't have to put a mask on when you're flying if you, if you have that superpower, so you're all good. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> well, Ryan, thank, thank you for that. Uh, we, we really appreciate it. Uh, snackers, thank you for your time, and join us next week for next episode of DevNet Snack Minutes.